Good afternoon, and welcome. About two years ago, I needed a microscope prop for my Sherlock Holmes miniseries. At the last minute, I was able to find one. But it always made me wonder what I would have done. Materials for this prop include a detergent bottle, a paper towel roll, spare cardboard, rubber furniture pads, black, white, and silver spray paint, electrical tape, scissors, an X-Acto blade, a hot glue gun, and a Sharpie. Using the Sharpie, trace out the microscope pattern as shown in the diagram. Take the X-Acto blade and cut out the area just outlined, including the handle. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. At this point, your detergent bottle should resemble the capital letter E. Note that I did not cut the bottle beneath where the handle was. It's left intact. I'll call this the shelf. Make additional cuts as necessary. Next, take your spare cardboard and cut it in a square shape proportionate to your detergent bottle. It should extend a bit further than the shelf. Draw a circle in the middle of the board, directly underneath the detergent bottle cap. Use the X-Acto blade to cut it out. Unscrew the detergent bottle cap, and use the X-Acto blade to cut a circle in the top large enough to accommodate the paper towel roll. This is an extremely advanced use of the knife, so please, please be careful and get help if you need it. Insert the paper towel roll into the cap and screw the cap back into place. And now it's time to move outside. Always be safe when handling spray paint, use goggles and masks at all times. Paint one sheet of your furniture pad silver and paint the body of your detergent bottle white. Depending on the original color, this may take several coats. Finally, paint the paper towel roll and the microscope tray black. Back inside, cut the paper towel roll to the size you want and wrap the end in electrical tape for added detail. Use the hot glue to secure the paper towel roll in place. Do the same for the microscope tray. For added detail and texture, line key areas with electrical tape and place the furniture pads as knobs and buttons. And there's your finished microscope. Thanks for joining me on the Prop Master's Handbook. Let me know in the comments below what I should build next. And for the Sherlock May series that I almost need for a prop microscope, click the link below. See you next time.